freezing. Why are we walking? We just look at our keys. Oh, that's my car! Huge IQ, great performance in the Marines, but you gave up. Drugs, petty crime. Never had a job. Who are you? Your father saved my life. Dean says you're fair guy. Boys. I've had a rather emotional day, so whatever your beef with Eggsy is, and I'm sure it's well-founded, I'd appreciate it if you could just leave us in peace. You should get out of the way, Granddaddy. You'll get out. Mm. Manners maketh man. Do you know what that means? Then let me teach you a lesson. Are we going to stand around here all day, or are we going to fight? Sorry about that. Needed to let off a little steam. What do you see? I see it. potential. Kingsman is an international intelligence agency operating at the highest level of discretion. If you're prepared to adapt, you can transform. Into a spy. Interested? Oh, yes. You are about to embark on the most dangerous job interview in the world. We're here to test you to limits. To enhance your skills. Train for the evil out there. If you get blood on the carpet, you have to take the carpet up. Can't stand the sight of blood. To everyone who said I never made it. Felt sorry for the boy, did you? Oh, you He's as much Kingsman material as any of them. More so. I got a dinner date with greatness. Mankind is the virus, and I'm the cure. Sounds like a lot of people are going to die. Do I look like I give them? Son of a bitch! This is an amazing trailer. I would dare say it's a perfect trailer, and that's with giving away what seems to be several key plot points in the film. It is so exciting and so well done. Colin Firth taking down those guys in the pub is so compelling, uh, familiar yet fresh, that I want to see this movie right now. And I was supposed to be able to see it pretty much right now uh, because it had settled on a release date of late October 2014 after jumping around a bit. But its jumping apparently wasn't done because as many of you know it's now been pushed back to February. 2015. Uh, and I don't understand how it can possibly maintain this momentum for the next several months because I feel this is an end game trailer. This is the trailer that says, I should go see this movie. I should buy a ticket. When can I buy a ticket? And I can't believe the answer is in February, several months from now. Now, I do think it could be very strong in February, and I think if I were Fifty Shades of Grey, the film this is now going to compete with, I would be nervous. And Christian Grey, I'm afraid Mr. Darcy is coming back to claim his place as the heartthrob of all screens, because of course he was Mr. Darcy on the small screen. And he looks so good here. If you said, hey, Colin Firth is going to play an action here, I would have been like, ridiculous? No way! But I think he's so convincing in the role. And the whole movie seems like such a wonderful Valentine to the UK that I guess a Valentine's release date makes some sense. Now, what plot points, uh, plot points do I think they give away? Well, I'm really surprised to see in the second trailer that they seem to make it very clear that Samuel L. Jackson is actually the villain of the film, where the first trailer made it seem like he was just a friend to this organization. And maybe they felt it was too subservient a role for a black actor, a black character with a lisp to boot, that he didn't seem powerful enough. And that that demographic maybe would be turned off to some degree. I didn't get that, but I can't think of any other reason they would give away this plot point in the second trailer. Why not save it for the movie? Uh, Samuel L. Jackson looks like, he looks, looks like he's doing a great job, but it looked like he was doing a great job in the first trailer. So I'm not quite sure why they needed to give away what seems to me to be 
a pretty important plot twist. Uh, then also the other thing is if you have an eagle eye, you'll notice that this new recruit in one scene is dressed exactly like Colin Firth's character. So maybe that was supposed to be a misdirect within the film uh, to make it you think you're chasing Colin Firth, but it's actually they're teaming up to fight. And I guess he's graduated and been accepted into the program. That also seemed to me like something they should have saved for the movie. But this is a trailer that puts everything on the table. It works. It makes me want to see the movie, but I just question what's left for them to use uh, to, to keep this momentum going as they try and keep this movie in the front of people's minds all the way through until February uh, 2015 when it will finally hit theaters. But it looks so good to me. I'm so excited. I'm definitely there, uh, and I think a lot of comic book fans will be. And the question now, the, the game, is to try and get as many mainstream moviegoers into the theaters as well. What do you think? How do you think that the second trailer compares to the first? Are you ready to see this movie right now? Do you think you can wait until February? Do you think others can wait until February? Do you think Christian Grey should be worried about Mr. Darcy? Uh, and just what do you think of this being a UK to the uh, a Valentine to the UK? Do you agree with me? Uh, once I said that uh, when I watched Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy that I wanted to have tea and toast while I watched the film. And some, some UK viewers took offense to that thinking that I was making fun of it, but I think uh, you forget how wonderful um, and uh, cozy some stereotypes can be. And we, we Americans, of course, feel very nicely about our, uh, our ancestors, our, our, original, our original country. So thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, and you can write down below what you think of this trailer, and you can check out some more episodes right now.